And those Campolindo highlights bring us right to our Dorito Brothers Inside Cal High Sports. As the Cougar success continues, some school children from afar have something to cheer about. Taylor Lambert is here to tell us about that story. Very much so, Therese. It all begins across the Pacific Ocean in the Philippines' southernmost island where Camp Lindo assistant coach Ed McCauley has spent some time mentoring high school kids. Add in one Cougar star running back Reiner of Barley who has connections to the island and you have one interesting and unlikely story. We went out to Campo to learn a bit more. Inside Cal High Sports. The Camp Lindo high school football team is enjoying one of its best seasons to date. Usually, when a team is winning, they'll pick up a few extra fans along the way. But the fans Campo is attracting this year are not your average fan. Why, you ask? For starters, the fans we're talking about here live 7,764 miles away in Canyon de Oro, Philippines. You see, about eight times a year, Campo's freshman line coach, Ed McCauley, flies to Asia for business. Well, there he visited Canyon de Oro and lectured for a chemistry class at Corpus Christi High School. To say the least, his students took a liking to football. You can see how they're all smiling, because here I'm talking about the football. Every time I go there, I talk about the football team. So when I got back, the, the, the teacher said, when they, because it's Catholic, when they start out every day, they say a prayer at the beginning of class, and then one of the kids will say they're praying for the Camp Lena Cougars. A pretty amazing story by itself, to have an entire class rooting for you a half a world away. But the story gets even more intriguing as one of the Cougars players, Reiner of Barley, by chance actually grew up in the same small town in the Philippines before moving to the States as a 12-year-old. And when he heard Coach McCauley was making the trip, it caught him a little off guard. Yeah, I thought it was like kind of weird because not a lot of foreign people go there. You know, it's not like a tourist spot. It's a really poor area, so really dirty. Not, we don't have like clean areas like this. There's, you just, you'll see trash everywhere. Cagayan de Oro and Moraga couldn't be more different, something Reiner knows firsthand. But when the kids at Corpus Christi learned of the senior running back, they were ecstatic to see one of their own succeed. When I found out Reiner's from there, the kids really took off. You know, they really were very proud of the fact that here's this, this coach from America from San Francisco coming to visit them, and his star player is from their hometown. And not only did the story make an impression on the students in the Philippines, it also did the same for the kids at Campo. Well, it surprised the kids. I think when Ed came to our team meeting and sort of had the pictures of the kids at the school, and that, that made a connection for the kids. When they can see kids in a different part of the country, you know, them in their uniforms, and then Ed obviously given the history of, you know, the environment that they live in and what they have to do to survive and study academically. They appreciate these other kids, what they have to do to fight for an education. The two schools are now even communicating with each other. The class calls Coach McCauley for updates while the Campo Cougars recently sent a message to Canyon de Oro along with a football signed by the team, delivered by Reiner Abarley in their native language of Tagalog. I said, uh, Salamat sa pagdala sa ninyo, which is thank you for, um, pr for your prayers, pretty much. And that's how it's been for a while now. Two schools, 7,700 miles away, rooting for each other. Camp Lindo having a great season this year. A uh, terrific story. What, what are the odds that Ed McCauley, Robert was there when we interviewed him. That guy can tell a story. Uh, he a can tell story. a story. Very much so. Yes. Uh, take some time out for Ed and he will tell the whole thing. But a great guy and it's nice what he's doing. And, and terrific for those kids in the Philippines. And Campo won this week, so they have something even more to cheer about for next week. Corpus Christi's big fans.